Turning now to your community focus, voters in Bristol County, Massachusetts will have the option this year to keep or replace Bristol County Sheriff Thomas Hodgson. The Republican has been in office since 1997. He joins us now live in studio. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So as I mentioned, you've been in office now for 25 years. Why should voters keep you in for another six? Well, I've devoted my entire uh, career in law enforcement uh, and public safety to the, uh, to the people of Bristol County and doing everything I could to keep them and the community safe. And uh, of course, it's a law enforcement job and it requires us in, in law enforcement to work together in collaboration with our state, local and federal partners, which I've done over all these years. Um, my opponent, of course, has no law enforcement experience. He claims he has corrections experience, but he was, he was an administrative assistant for two years in Philadelphia and he uh, was doing research for one year after an appointment by the governor in the Department of Corrections. He's never walked a tier. He's never had his boots on the ground, worked with staff inside a correctional facility, ever worked with inmates. It's something I've done and I know very, very well. And I think the people in my county recognize that we're constantly moving to higher levels of excellence. You're talking about your Democratic opponent, uh, Paul Harreau. He was in studio with us here last week. I want to give you a chance to respond to a couple of things he said sure. about you. Specifically, he said you wore a Confederate flag tie and didn't apologize and that you have seven active lawsuits against you. Is he right? Well, first of all, the tie he's referring to was a gift my wife gave me 20 years ago, and it's a patriotic tie. Uh, but this is the kind of thing that my opponent will do to deflect away from the fact he has no experience and he doesn't want anybody to understand that. So he d does these diversion things. The second thing, every department in the Commonwealth has lawsuits if you have a prison. So that's not anything new. These are all trumped up things that he wants to try to use to suggest we're not running the, the place properly. But let me tell you this. We've been nationally accredited twice by the professionals across the nation at 100 percent back to back over the last six years. And that speaks volumes to the fact that we are amongst the best in the nation. And for him to suggest somehow that these, these, this Confederate tie and this idea that we're, we have lawsuits, if he understood corrections, he'd know that every sheriff's office has lawsuits. That happens. We have inmates that are constantly challenging us. One of those lawsuits is regarding a violent 2020 incident inside the immigration center. You said once the federal investigation into that incident is complete, you'll release some surveillance footage. Any idea when that might happen? Well, that's a great, a great point. We've been, it's two and a half years now. The federal government, we know the investigation is pretty well complete, but we also know that it was all politically motivated, not just with the federal government, with the Mayorkas and the Biden administration, but also Attorney General Mara Healy. All politically motivated, tying in the ACLU. And the bottom line is this, it's two and a half years. Where are the charges? Where's our reports? There are none. You know why? Because it'll expose them for what they did to the people of my county by not allowing us to hold these criminal illegal aliens inside our place that we were holding there prior to them moving on, on shutting us down. Just this past weekend, you had an incident um, at one of the jails in your control. 34-year-old uh, Adam Howe, an inmate there, accused of killing his own mother, died from an apparent <clears throat> suicide inside the jail. What went wrong? Well, what went wrong is uh, he committed suicide. But, but the reality is that the, the state police, I've opened up our regional lockup beyond our county because police officers and state troopers shouldn't have to be trying to hold these people in, in cell blocks inside their police stations. They're not trained to deal with these individuals. And they also um, need to be on the streets doing what they do best. I've opened the first regional lockup in the state years ago. But this, in this instance, this individual, before he's brought to us, was taken to Cape Cod Hospital by the state police because he said he was going to harm himself or commit suicide or what have you. Cape Cod Hospital did the evaluations of him and, and cleared him medically to be held in, in police custody. State police brought him to us, and my staff went over and above what they otherwise were required to do and said, you know, this is a serious, high-profile crime. It's a heinous crime. So you know what? We should put him in a Johnny. Don't take any chances that maybe he might harm himself because of the, the, the type of crime and so forth, even though he was medically cleared. Unfortunately, during, during the, the uh, time between the watch when the person or officers go by, the individual had taken toilet paper, stuffed it up his nose, and jammed his throat with wet toilet paper so he couldn't breathe. When our, our officers noticed him, they immediately started CPR but it was too late, he, they couldn't revive him. I want to shift back to the election. Uh, you and Haro will be debating here on WPRI 12 yes. later this month on Newsmakers, but there's been some back and forth over another debate and who is <laughs> supposedly not agreeing to it. You say it's him, he says it's you, what's going on? 
Well, Mr. Hero has a problem with the truth, and I think that was pointed out by his, one of his opponents during the primary, and we've seen it since we started in the debate with him going forward. We agreed September 22nd to your debate, Channel 10. We also agreed to a WBSM debate. Apparently today we're notified by Channel 10 that Mr. Hero is not going to do the debate. They offered him a couple alternative dates. He said, I can't do those either. So the, the fact of the matter is that, look, we're not going to play this, this game. I've chosen 12 and 10 because you give us our broadest market, uh, well-respected stations, as well as BSM. We talked about that early on. We have campaign to run. We've got all kinds of things on our schedule. And unfortunately, he's chosen not to do the 10 debate. And that's, that's a decision he has to make. All right, that is all the time that we have. Bristol County Sheriff Thomas Hodgson, thanks so much for being Thank here. Thank you for having me.